Uh, we're back up. Uh, right now, uh, that uh, right, we're uh, coming up back up basically to tell you that uh, they're looking for a courtroom for Shorty right now. Uh, we talked to the, uh, the sheriff that's in charge of the courtrooms, and uh, they're going to be calling Shorty in just a few minutes to let him know where the courtroom we're going to appear at. Uh, the reason why they have to assign him a courtroom is because um, the judges here, we have a shortage of judges that were retired from the courthouse, and uh, so we have a shortage of judges, and they have to hear criminal cases first. And Shorty's case is a civil matter, so uh, his case has been moved back although he is scheduled to be seen today that they want to find a courtroom for him to appear in. So that's what we're waiting on. That's why we're back out here live streaming. Um, if you're watching, glad that you could join us. Uh, please retweet at Freeman Sullivan and log on to the social stream and let me know what's up. Love to hear from you. Oh good, I didn't lose my... Uh, I was glad I didn't lose my rubber band. I have to use this to Occasionally, I don't need it now, but when I get involved in crowd situations, I make sure that the, the phone is secure to the monopod because I've actually had police try to knock it out of my hand and so because like, they didn't want to be on the live stream. Uh, or when you get involved with a bunch of people, it's really easy to get jostled, you know, because I have to be right on the scene when, when the violence is happening, right? And I've never been struck by the police or anything like that, you know, but I am there. I actually had rubber bullets fired at me when I was in Oakland. Uh, Oakland's fucking way off the hook, dude. It's bad. It makes Oakland's even more violent than Baltimore, right? You know, it's bad. No, San Francisco, it's not. San Francisco's like a world away almost in terms of. There's like a few shootings, but like we only get like 60 murders a year in, in, uh, in San Francisco. That's not much at all, right? That's like maybe two a month. So there's not a lot of violent crime. So number one is uh, if you get caught with a handgun, it's five years. That's immediate out in Cali. Right. We got three strikes too, though. You know, we, actually, our state was the state that started the three strikes bullshit, right? You know, where if you do, like if you have two felonies, I mean, you can get a felony for just about anything these days, you know. And if you get three of them, they let you in jail for life with no possibility of parole. Yet another enslavement of the prison industrial complex, right? So we're out here waiting for a courtroom right now, and. Uh, and uh, so what, do you, what, what is your involvement in, in here with Shorty's case? Well, you know, Shorty's been a good friend and uh, we've been up here to support him. We've been kind of involved in different, case, different uh, movements and, uh, and Shorty does a lot of work for the community and so I've been uh, helping, him, helping him out and right. trying to support him as best I can and with other people. He's got a lot of supporters and fans. He's a great personality. He's a local personality. He's well known on TV networks as well as the news, as well as the actors' communities. So he's done a lot of work for the community. And you know, follow the city and the county. He's done all of Maryland and the better broad too. Right, I was out there yesterday at the uh, St. Vincent de Paul's by the Shot Tower. Right, had barbecue out there. We had hamburgers, and hot dogs. Oh, nice. Right, fed, fed about 100 people, maybe 200 people. Nice. You know, yeah, it was real nice too. Like I was beautiful day, beautiful place. So yeah, Shorty does a lot for the community, you know, and that's why we're out here supporting him, right? Because he supports us, right, through his actions. And we encourage you, the people that are watching, that uh, you know, follow Shorty's example. You know, you don't have to be a victim. You know, if you get arrested on a marijuana charge, take it to a jury trial. Guaranteed that they'll drop it before you even make it to trial because it costs them so much money to prosecute a case like that. That that's why they always try to get you to take the deal. So if more people didn't take the deal, well then they would be less apt to prosecute people. So, yeah, I dropped my cigarette butt down here and I kind of feel guilty about it now. Because Prison Industries has to go pick it up. People that get assigned uh, community service. Right. Yeah, it's warmed up a little bit out here too, folks. Looks like it's going to be a nice, comfortable, fairly comfortable day out here in Towson, which is just north of Baltimore, Maryland. For those of you who don't know, if you're not from Baltimore, My second week here in uh, Maryland. Third week, working on my third week. I'm going to be moving here permanently. Well, permanently for the next year. In the Baltimore area. Uh, I'll be covering the East Coast. Uh, political events in New York, uh, Boston, Philadelphia, D.C., and here in Baltimore. Everybody is their own boss. There's no bosses here. 
so we all got our own interests. What? I thought I was a damn boss. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working for my paycheck. No wonder it hasn't come. Well, you the boss. You the bosses don't get paid. Shit, I can't get all the pay. You the get bosses don't wage, get paid. And then the state subsidizes. Our minimum wage is what we're doing so here when we make sacrifices for each other. Dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't get the booger in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, get to Eddie Griffin. Shorty. Take a bad picture. Oh, yeah, Eddie Griffin. That's nice. Right. Right. Who, whose face can survive after the camera this far yeah. away? Shorty. 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 These are all my friends, not all of them. Because these are the, 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 the I could call, consider them loyalists. All right, Beth and Bruce, mother died, passed, did books and barbecue, got sick, whatever. She left me for a while. I think she had a man or something. She, that's what she's sucking out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And 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 she's a. Uh, a librarian and Bruce is good with the camera, and that's what we use is the camera to dismantle a master's house. You got to use the master's tools. So we got to use our computers and our cameras and our knowledge. Compact that bullshit. So we're out here. Screaming? Oh, yeah. All right, well, let me do this. We've been denied access to the court today. Yeah, I had cool. supposed to have a trial at 9 30. That was court call. This was docketed in June of 2013. All right, this is about my property on Falls Road and the money the city, the the state and the county owe me. The state of Maryland took fraudulent checks from my son while I was locked up. Forged checks, the state of Maryland, okay? That's what this was about. It was about embezzlement, income tax evasion, and fraud. I did that, credit card fraud. It was about an insurance policy that I had. And the state of Maryland know about it, Judge Turnbull, Greg Bernstein, Schellenberger, Governor O'Malley, because I was making a movie about it. It's called the Dred Scott decision and my right to property. And if you read the Dred Scott decision, blacks have no rights in America, which white people respect. That's why I'm still standing outside this courthouse. I ain't got a court date yet. That's what we're out here waiting for, folks, for those of you who are watching. Glad you're here. We'll do log on to the social stream and chat. Love to hear from you. Any questions you have for Shorty, uh, let us know. This number right here is Ann from Central Assignment, 410-887-5504. They're going to call me when they find a courtroom for me, and we docket this case in June of 2013. You're going to call me, and I'm here waiting. I got everything I need inside. I ain't seen Jake here yet. I ain't seen James Hammond, and I ain't seen the judge. I'm the plaintiff. I'm not the defendant here. I want my property. I want my standing in the community back. I want him to be the same shorty I was before my son was murdered in Zion. And I'm going to get it here in court. There you have it. The long and the shorty of it. Nice. I'm going to make it plain and simple. I'm going to cut you like a knife. I'm going to call your name out and dare you to deny anything I say about you. When I call people's names out, you can't sue me for defamation of character. You can't sue me for libel because you're straight up cowards. And I'm going to call you for what you is, inside or outside the courthouse. Ain't nothing that you're going to do to me that you ain't already done to me. But I'm still standing here, toilet and all. There you go. We got the toilet just inside. Boy, the toilet bowl bomber. Uh oh. Yeah. What a joke. Mom's over Baghdad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna find the coffee shop. Alrighty. Alrighty. We're gonna go hit it for the coffee shop folks. Uh we're gonna keep the live stream up though. We're not gonna just because uh, we're not gonna let the live stream go down. Alright, so let me get my chair here and I'll follow you guys. Uh, yeah, we can just go to the Wheelchair accessible. Nice new building. Yeah, so Shorty's toilets are right in that window. Now we're going to go have a cup of coffee and talk some more. But we are going to keep the live stream going for you people that are watching.
We're out here at the in Towson, Maryland, at the Baltimore County Courthouse. Howdy. Sorry about the shaky camera, folks. Let's see if anybody's logged on. It's the only shorty hoodie I got. Hey. Yeah, we do need more live streamers on the East Coast there. Checking here with the chat. Sorry for the... We're waiting for the court clerk to call up Shorty to let us know what court we're going to get. Uh, check out redemmas.org if you uh, were interested in learning about live streaming or how to live stream. Uh, next month we'll be offering classes. So the website is redemmas.org and the classes will be taught at 30 West North Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland. Man, I just went and paid my Folks, I'm a button on my jacket, it's chilly. You locked me up four years ago for putting the children outside the courthouse. Now your dumb ass is watching me. Oh. 
Hey, yeah, it's going out there, Channel Bear. So glad you're watching. Please uh, retweet it. We're gonna go hit this cafe here, I believe. Not a whole lot open around here, folks. That's not mine. No? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Still got a little snow on the ground out of here in Towson. Alright, we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble. Let's go to the coffee shop at Barnes and Noble. Alright. Alright, All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Burr. Do me a favor. Hold this for just a second. Oh, this is Kim. Oh, this is Kim. Yeah, that would be great if you could. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Slowly getting, slowly leaning myself off the chair, right? If I didn't have my laptop, I wouldn't be, wouldn't bring it. But. Yeah, we're gonna go up here to Barnes and Nobles and maybe have a little discussion about what's going on today. Talk about the prison industrial complex, Baltimore police brutality, lots of different issues. So if you have anything you want to talk about. Let me know.
Ah. I'll be there in just a second. Baby, it's cold outside. <laughs> so we're inside here at the Barnes & Noble in Towson, Maryland. It smells like books and magazines in here, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? I like that smell. I do too. What smell? The books, man? Books, yeah. <laughs> Cool, thanks. I'm gonna grab my seat. Oh, that was a workout for me. Hey. Anyway, we're gonna sit here and wait. A lot of court involves waiting because the wheels of justice grind slowly, if at all. <laughs> yeah, a cup of coffee would be fine. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Leo, anybody else want anything else? I know y'all boycotting them. Can I help this man? Yeah, sure? This young man right Something here. Something hot. Come on. Uh, a cup of coffee, medium, please. Okay. Do you need room for cream? I'm sorry? Room for cream? Yes, ma'am. And did you want gold or medium? Uh, medium's fine. You got hot chocolate? Yes, sir, I do. Yes, sir, I do. That's my brand A side. Hot chocolate. Did you want whipped cream on that? Uh, all right, so give me a second here, folks. I'm going to grab my cup of coffee. We'll talk some more about what's happening at the prison industrial complex. Ooh. That was a brisk little walk. That was a brisk little walk. <laughs> that wind. Yeah, we're in Baltimore, Maryland, Towson. Thanks, uh, thanks, General Bear, for the retweet. Thank you, dear. Uh huh. Can I help you? Yeah, I've got a large cheese. All right, we're over here to get a cup of coffee. So we're up on a bunch of different websites now. Yay. So just give me a second here, folks. Well, I get my coffee. So we'll try to keep the live stream up for a while. Let you know what's happening with Shorty's case under waiting for him to be assigned to court room. That's why we're sitting here at Barnes and Noble.
Uh, Dwayne Davis' support group, court support. We're at the Barnes & Noble Cafe here in Towson, Maryland. For those of you who are just joining us, Towson is just outside Baltimore. And we're out here waiting to be assigned a courtroom in uh, Shorty Dwayne Davis's trial, civil trial, to recover his stolen property from the uh, county of Baltimore. So we're just taking it easy. So just to let you know there, Shorty, we're picked up on... Oh, okay. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, I'm a member. I'm making an arrangement. You still talk to her? Yeah. What if I want to? Sorry, what uh, we're being embedded in a bunch of different websites around the world. Uh, we just got picked up by the uh, Global Occupy News Network. So they're up and they got us running on their site. So thank you to our uh, gentle bearer. We appreciate it. So any questions that you want to ask, ask the questions. Let's uh, uh, have a discussion on whatever you want to discuss. Like I said, this is about the courts and the uh, Denial of our access to the courts. A lot of people still are doing print here in Maryland, right? Like I, have, I haven't touched a paper. Like in San Francisco, the paper boxes are empty most of the time because of the uh, online. Yeah, it's. Uh, a place like Barnes and Noble is basically obsolete. That's why they had to open up a coffee shop because they had to have some kind of money coming in to support the bookstore, right? I think they've always had a coffee shop. That's what part of Barnes and Noble. Well, it used to be bookstores were able to support themselves just by selling books. And Barnes and Noble. Used to be um, borders like across the street. Yeah, yeah, and they they sold. They went out of business. Yeah. Yeah, they did in San Francisco. They went all over the country. I remember they had a big border. I went and bought a few books yeah, that, where they closed. Nice. Some deals, right? If you have any questions out there, people are watching, let us know. Got any questions? Yeah, you can go to Facebook, Dwayne G. Davis, Shortman underscore nine, and see my tweets. I mean, my Facebook. And you go to tweet, Shortman underscore nine on Twitter. You can uh, go to www.youtube slash user, Shorty's Voice, one word, 
I call it the Ghetto Da Vinci Code. Everything that I did before I got locked up is already on video. Truth only got to tell it once. The lie is something you got to cover up. That's why we sit here waiting for a trial now. Uh, yes, tell them, tell them about archive.org. Turn, turn to Leo. If you go to uh, you go to archive.org, defeat Jim Crow in 2014, you see a series of videos from Shorty where he's kind of uh, delivering messages to different elected officials, lawyers, judges, police, etc. And it, it kind of shows you how the work that he's doing is uncovering how these entities work together to create the Jim Crow system. I recommend definitely people going back through his videos and his materials. Also, like you said, go back and read the, uh, the Dred Scott decision and the text of the 13th, 14th, and 15th, 15th amendments and, and everything like that and see you know, where our legal system is really at because the 13th amendment didn't abolish slavery. It just limited it, uh, but it said you can still be enslaved if you're convicted of a crime. And that's just what they did. They said, well, we're going to free the slaves, and now they're all vagrants, and we can convict them of any crime we want and put them back in prison and use them as, as laborers. And that, went on for decades, and it's still going on now. There you go, and the website you might want to check out is baltimoreexpress.wordpress.com. Or Baltimore Eclipse. I'm sorry, folks. Baltimore Eclipse. Baltimore Eclipse. To eclipse the sun. Uh, .wordpress.com. Word on the street news, wotsnews.wordpress.com. Another alternative news site for Baltimore. Did the homeless guy they just the cops just shot? Did he die? No, no. Um, I thought he apparently died. not, according to. That was the first. That was all the reports we had from the first day, and then something came in saying maybe he's in critical condition in the hospital. Mystery surrounding these police shootings. If they're legit. Because the police officer committed a crime. He's killed. So you don't even know whether the person is shot dead or not right. within the first 12 hours? Give me a break. They get paid for misinformation here in Baltimore City, Baltimore These County. They make up the stories and there's nobody to check them with the stories. The reason that <coughs> Leo, MacArthur, Pines, and other people, Tom and Beth and Bruce, are here and we created this uh, police brutality committee is because we're going to hold the police accountable got our own people that's going to have our own media and our own stories coming out to tell the truth about the stories that you read in mainstream media. We're going to eclipse the sun. That's why we call ourselves Baltimore Eclipse, because we're going to start cutting it to the line that they put out there on mainstream media. Everybody get a chance to, to weigh in on this. This is going to be a collective. We're taking color out of the equation. We're putting the situation on the table, and we're going to be dealt with accordingly. They, manip they manipulate the stories the way they come out. It seems like they're seems sometimes it seems like they're inept, but actually it's very calculated the way they release information on Twitter. Because, for example, last night um, or Saturday night, there was a story that said, "Oh, there's all these uh, there's all these juveniles fighting downtown." And so there's a police response to them because they're, they're all fighting downtown. Then it came out that they weren't fighting, they were just in a large group. Then they said, oh, they were stealing stuff. Then they said they had stolen something from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Then a couple hours later, someone checked with the owner of Ripley's Believe It or Not, and it turned out that nothing was actually stolen. But the idea was put out was put out there. And so now it's like, just, it's been, one reason it's been given, another reason it's been given. People feel like they're mad at rationalization for this excessive. Um, yeah. Police response to, to, to a bunch of people who are actually ex exercising their constitutional right to assemble in public, calling call them juveniles. It's you know whatever you 